What do you get when you have two microphones, a bottle of bourbon, and plenty of time to kill? It's the Bourbon Talking Podcast with Billy and Jimmy. Glad you found us. Sit back, relax. Let's see what we get into. It's the Bourbon Talking Podcast, episode 47. Take three. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> Happy birthday to It's the Bourbon Talking Podcast. We are in season two. It is January, and uh, it's our birthday. Yeah, we, the Bourbon Talking uh, Podcast has been going on for 12 months, and uh Hey, uh, happy birthday to you, Billy. Happy and, birthday to you, Jimmy. And uh, we're Where do we get these fancy new glasses from? As I've explained it two other times before, from Anna from Christmas. And again, thank you, Anna. Thanks, um, Anna J. Appreciate the, uh, the glasses. And we got a decanter to match over here. We'll try to get a picture of that. Yeah. And so everybody knows we are drinking George Remus today. Excellent. So, I've been uh, wanting to try this one on the podcast for a little while. Yep, it's been actually... Collecting dust, it's aged well. Ooh, nicely. Yeah, Ooh. it's uh, been sitting over there. So, so we're gonna rate this at the end of the podcast. So stick around and find out if we liked it or not, and uh, see if you'd like to go find a bottle and try it yourself. We've had good and bad, so we'll tell you. We'll give you a recommendation to go buy it or not. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, welcome everyone, and uh, welcome to 2024. So, welcome. first podcast for the year. Yeah, man. Many, many more. Hopefully, you will see. Yes, and uh, we're not having, only it's we're the, having fun at this. Yes, and not only is is it the it's the Bourbon Talking Podcast birthday this month. It's also Billy's. He's got a birthday in a few days. So uh, yeah. I had to uh, that, so huh? well, I had to because we probably won't do a podcast between now and your birthday. So happy birthday to. Mr. Billy over here. Yeah, thanks, man. And I'm not going to let him try to do the math on his birthday. He won't get it right there either. <laughs> well, I, I know how old I am now. I did, now? I did three years ago. I was off by a year, but anyway, I got corrected. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so what we're going to talk about today, Billy, I know there's something just Dude, itching, it burning is your... sweeping the yeah. internet. It's, it's big. It is the... Jellyfish UAP. This was filmed. Uh, 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 please explain to the world out there what UAP is. Well, we used to call it UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Then we went woke. <clears throat> now it's called unidentified aerial phenomenon. This I like one, UFO better. Yeah, I'm, I'm a UFO guy. Sorry. But anyway, this looks like a jellyfish. It was released by Jeremy Corbell on the weaponized podcast and it was taken from special operations base in Iraq in 2018 through a thermal. So the story behind this is no one could see it with their naked eye. No one could see it with nods, night vision, but this was picked up from an observation post with a thermal camera. I'll put up the video now to show you, but Supposedly, it was tracked all the way across this secure base, and then outside of this camera view, after they get finished filming this, they continue to track it with an airborne uh, observation platform or something. It goes into the water. It comes back out of the water, then takes off at a high rate of speed. But this thing is pretty weird looking. What do you think about it, Jimmy? I think it was bullshit. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I, I was looking at it, and... It, yeah, the the little tracking jellyfish thingamajig. I mean, yeah, it kind of moved, but it never really got like close or anything. And yeah. I, I, I'm not buying it. If, I'm not. I, and, I, and again, this is brand new footage from 2018. Yeah, it's brand new to us, but it's been out for a while. <laughs> it's coming out through some of the uh, congressional uh, hearings and stuff like this. And this was some leaked footage. Um, I mean, it almost looks like somebody just this looks like some kind some of drone st- platform or something with bl- legs hanging off of it. It's pretty weird looking. Yeah, it looks like somebody put a Lego up there and it just looks was like had it, it tracking across. It looks I'm like it's sorry. got a couple of horns at the top. It's, it's not the typical UFO that that you see the saucer disc or or a uh, tic tac. This thing looks very very weird. So, so could they tell how big it was from? That. I mean, is it like, I mean, it's only like a quarter inch on the video from where I see, but I mean, in real life, could they guesstimate what I, the dimensions of the thing I don't think they did that. Uh, I'm sure they could have based on where the observation platform was. It flies right over people, over a couple of vehicles and buildings. So I'm sure they can determine that. 
it doesn't appear to be that big to me. I wouldn't say any bigger than the Volkswagen. That, I mean, that's probably. Well, that's huge. A, you know, oh, a beetle always. car, you know, pretty, that's pretty small. You can only get like nine clowns in, in one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them was recording this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, it all started with your dog walking on the power strip and turned all the power off. <laughs> but hey, oh, we'll do better God. on take number three. Yeah. Uh, which that's what this is, take three. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not going to tell you what the first bourbon we drank because <laughs> I had to start over. <laughs> we're on the same, we're halfway through this bottle already. But anyway, we're getting there. Uh, yeah, the dog stepped on the <laughs> power strip and shut the battery or shut the power off to everything and it went. <laughs> he's now Thanks. looks like he's deceased on the floor here. Well, he's sad. You yelled at him. <laughs> it's like a you hurt his feelings. Walrus. <laughs> so you see, they've released uh, tons of pages on the Jeffrey Epstein file. Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. Nope. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a, a few people quite on a there. few people on that list. What's uh, some of the most prominent that caught your eye? Well, I mean, some we kind of knew was already on there. It was, you know, Bill Clinton, uh, Prince Andrew. Um, Bill Clinton, obviously, he was on there like 70-something times. I think he had his own room. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, Trump was on there. Uh, gosh, a lot of cabinet members from. Um, the one that really shot me the most was Stephen Hawking. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. he was in a wheelchair. I mean, what's he doing? Is he just watching? Uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happens on that island, but I just thought that was that was curious that, you know, so, I mean. Who do you think Epstein were? Obviously, this guy's total job was to get dirt on people for blackmail. Well, no, I think he was, he did it for personal gain. I don't think he was doing it for anybody in particular. Did, I think he was doing it because he. Did you they, see the setup that was in his house in D.C. with the multiple cameras in the server rooms? Well, and so the, that, that's it, not for personal gain. Well, I'm thinking it is because you keep blackmailing the Clintons. Okay, I'm not going to go to jail. You don't think he control. worked for a three-letter agency no. or a six-letter no. I think he was just Israeli a pervert agency. and he blackmailed people for money and he didn't do anything. He was an advisor. He can't be a billionaire being an advisor. Where this guy came from. He just kind of yeah, exactly. You get dirt on one celebrity, yeah. and all of a sudden you get dirt on them all. I mean, I'm just, the guy was war. But since you brought it up, you see where one of the uh, state attorneys said that um, our U.S. attorneys that they're going to be releasing the CCTV footage to back all this up. So they're going to release. Ooh, yeah, a Ooh. lot of pixelated crap going on, but. I'm sure they're going to leave the head showing. Remember the weird paintings of like Bill Clinton in, in a, a blue dress? dress. Yeah. And Monica's blue George dress. George Bush sitting cross-legged on the floor playing with stack blocks with a paper airplane. I, I you mean, see that one? No, I did not. You know, so insinuation that two yeah. buildings were yeah, not. Yeah, I know. I, I get this. Just really weird, like, weird shit. Again, now. Everything, you know, it's in the document, the depositions, but, man, they start releasing CCTV, then... That the Clinton, makes things really yeah, real. Yeah, Clinton has no alibi. Prince Andrew has no alibi. You know, So and, what and they're all, all researching right now, well, that's a deep fake. That's what they call them, deep yeah. fake videos. Hollywood did it. Yeah. No, uh-uh, dude. The Stanley Kubrick production. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> he faked the moon landing. Why don't you think he faked my... Jeffrey Epstein excursions. You know, I like them young. <laughs> I got a terrible Bill Clinton. I got to work on the Bill Clinton. Uh... No, you don't want to work on the Bill oh, Clinton. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think spend my time on. Yeah, no, it's, um, no, it, it, yeah, they really CCTV uh, footage. Yeah. Then, yeah, all these people should be going to jail. I know you and I would be locked up really quickly. And while we're in jail, then they try to figure out what all we did. Yeah, yeah you got to jail you know? first and then figure out if you're right. innocent. It doesn't work that way for these people. No. You know? No, no they get, yeah, oh, I did it. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, we're not going to put them in jail. It's I mean, like, wait, yeah. what the hell? Right. Just because you're a celebrity and what, I, I don't know. I'm just, 
Yeah. Any any the commoners like you and I, yeah, and and we'd have a bear cat oh, knocking down dude, the dude. front door of the house and zip tied strip search <laughs> thrown in the back of a van and right. good God, just uh, potent prod. Anyways, yeah. Um, no, but anyway, yeah, I'd like to see the CCTV. Yeah, you know, you see the documents. Okay, that's one thing. But man, to have and not that I want to see what they're actually doing. I just want to see the headshots who's participating. Right. They could pixelate everything else. I just want Yeah, to. don't pixelate out the head. Pick pixelate out everything yeah, else. Yeah, everything I else. Want to, yeah, I yeah. want to see who's actually in there. So you're you want to see Bill Clinton's O face? <laughs> no, I just want to say oh. okay, every everything we knew he's guilty. I mean, right. we know he's guilty, but okay, there's without any shadow of a doubt, you know. Yeah. Um, and any of the other celebrities that got named, you know, yeah. All right, dude. Go to yeah. jail, get sued, be done in Hollywood or whatever you're doing, you know. Um, you know, if they got something on Trump, bring it out. Let's see it, you know. Um, I don't think they do, but uh yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, Prince Andrew, I mean, he's toast. Yeah. Wow. I mean, and uh what's his name? Uh Dershowitz. Oh yeah. Oh that yeah, they're saying Alan he, Dershowitz. Alan, yeah, he the prominent lawyer. Yeah, you know, actually mm. I had a little respect for him. Now that he's on that list, I have no respect for him. Yeah, and apparently he did participate with the underage girls. He's like, bring it out, let's see it. You know, it's like, dude, it's out. <laughs> man, there's a bunch of people, man. I mean, movie stars and singers and Anthony Kiedis from the Chili Peppers is on it. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, even Kevin Spacey, I mean. We all know he's well, yeah, weirdo. You know, he's a weirdo. And he, I get that, but, I mean, yeah. he's on there. Wait, did you see the Tucker Carlson interview with Kevin Spacey recently? No. Nah. Then he did this weird, and, like, Kevin Spacey was in character from House of Cards the whole time, and he's basically asking him, I mean, I'm going to get this all wrong, but <clears throat> he's basically asking him uh, about, Possibly, you know, uh, running for president and upcoming election. It was just a weird segment, man. And I was like, why would Tucker do that? It was just, I don't know. I don't know. Pretty, pretty weird. So, so I was just reading Bob Menendez's ex-girlfriend was took place in part of the orgies with Epstein and Desi. Yeah. This is the guy who's actually the, 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 the bribery gold? stuff. Yeah. The Egyptian gold and everything else. Yeah. Mm, what tangled webs we weave. No. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Dude, how is he even still a senator? And the gold that they found was part of a robbery in five, six, seven years ago, some big robbery yeah. or something. I mean, that's, the guy's dirty man, as hell. Come on. That's some dirty gold. That bar. guy's got to go. Get caught with that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he's got to go to jail. This guy is horrible. Nope, Why he, is he even still in the Senate? He ain't going to go to jail. I know. He he's a Democrat. Get, yeah. They're picking on me. Like, yeah. Really? You, you, gosh, you had gold bars. You had a brand new car from an Egyptian, you know, government official. I and mean, his wife killed somebody, right? Yeah. Uh, vehicular manslaughter, and she got a brand new Mercedes out of it. Got a new Mercedes like the out next of it. day. Guys, how is this guy still a senator? But yet we're going to, you know, chase Hunter Biden and Joe Biden around, which, I mean, they're corrupt too, but good God, what's, what's wrong with the Democrats? Are, are they that untouchable? It appears to be. Like, God, it just blows me away. They should be treated just like anybody else. Dude, I mean, any any ounce of evidence, like, okay, you're, you're out, and then, you know, come back if you're found innocent. But, dude, this is overwhelming. I mean, the stuff on Biden's is overwhelming. Menendez is overwhelming. Yeah. It's like, dude, kick them so, out. So, I mean, who charges them? You know, because when you and I get charged for something, the cops pick us up, we get arrested, and we wait in jail until we go to trial. Well, the FBI is the, actually uh, charging Menendez. They're the ones who raided his house. Now, the Bidens, it's the only Congress. So it's going to take years for them to build their case after raiding his house and finally charge him to where they arrest him. You know, when does this kind of stuff, it happens well, lightning fast for you and I is my point. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, come on, man, throw this guy out of the Senate while he's waiting on this stuff. Yeah. I, I don't get it. I just... The double standards in this country are it's who you out know. of control. Well, my Jaguars have been making some big moves the past couple of days. Or well, yeah, they're everybody. sitting. They're sitting on the bench. I mean, the Jaguars they they're winning division all year. They're winning their division all year. In the last game of the year, they missed the playoffs. 
How is that even possible? Yes, I, I agree. They all should be fired. They all should be. I, I mean, how, as the owner, you know, you look at your head coach. We were in first in our division all year. You think his job's in jeopardy? No. 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 He's because then you're going to have to pay him for however many more years. But no, I don't think he's a good coach. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. There's, they got to do some soul searching. I mean, if I'm the owner, I'm like, okay, we, we got to have a come to Jesus talk people. I mean, how do you, how do you win your, you're in first in your division all year in the last game of the year, you miss the playoffs. How does that even happen? I mean, it just blows me away. The rumor mill is Kirby Smart's got an interview with the Atlanta Falcons here next couple of days. That would be an interesting move. It would be. And I told you, I didn't say it on the podcast, but I told you a month ago, three weeks ago, that Nick Saban's going to retire this year. I hope. Kirby Smart's going to go to the NFL for one year, and then he's going to come back and be the head coach of Alabama. No. I think I think with uh... – how college football has gone to this nil where the players can make money and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And the, uh, the transfer portal, I mean, it's no different than the NFL. And I think it's actually probably a little more difficult to navigate. I think going probably a lot more difficult. But, like, Yeah. I mean, think about Kirby smart where he's in the sec. He's the big dog, literally the big dog in the sec. And he has to go out and play every game in the sec as if, if I lose, I'm done for the year. Yeah. Because you got to play the SEC, at least the NFL. Hey, you got a, a, a real playoff system and a shot, even if you're yeah, mediocre, you, you to lose, come back up. You lose five games, you can you, still win the Super exactly, Bowl. That's exactly it. You can you lose can't a few do games. that. Yeah. Can't do that in the SEC. You got to be super clean, have 12 and 0. And, yeah. Yes. You, so I think he, I think he makes the, the, the monetary jump to the NFL. And he's already in Atlanta with the Georgia Bulldogs. I think he. I think the Atlanta Falcons is a good fit for him, and I hope he goes. I hope he goes. Go. Well, I had a three-tiered prediction with the Nick Saban, Kirby Smart thing. So right now I'm batting 33%. We'll see if Nick Saban All right, retires. So if, what's the third one? The third one is a year from now. Oh, he, he, he comes becomes, back. He comes uh, back. No, he, no, he doesn't come back. That, will, that Even my predict that's a stretch, but I'm just seeing – so I hope Nick Saban retires. I mean, he's seventy something. There's a his daughter, I think, made a rumor um, that that he's th- talking about retiring this year. So Man, I think he probably should. I mean, come on, he, he's seventy for. I know, but he's such a competitor. I, get I don't it. see him. I don't see him leaving on a slump. You know, it, if he stays one more year and wins it next year, then I see him retiring. Mm-hmm. But. You know, a lot of people, they don't, I, I they don't like know, to man. retire that winning, not losing. You know, it's and it goes to Bill Belichick. You're 70. You've made. Go spend your money. Go, go spend fishing. your money. Yes. Get on a boat and oh my just God. go to the Caribbean or something. But for crying out loud, you don't. You don't need the money. I right. mean, You've retire. You're seventy. Your worth ethics. You know. Yeah, you're, I mean, you're seventy. And two legendary coaches. I mean, Nick Saban's going to go down in history as one of the greatest in college, and Belichick's going to go down as one of the greatest in the NFL. Yeah, even if you Call retire a on a year that you didn't win, exactly. you know. Call it a you're day. You're not going to be called a loser. You know, you're definitely the one of the t- two most winning co- winning coaches in all of sports. Yeah, call it a day. Go spend your money, see your family. I mean, gosh, you've been away from them for years. Yeah. So, no, hey, I and again, I hope Kirby Smart goes to the NFL. I hope Nick Saban retires. And I hope the Florida gets a decent passing game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, at least we have a shot, you know, if these two guys leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's the only thing I'm looking at. It's like, as long as those two head coaches are in the SEC – Oh, we don't have a fighting chance. <laughs> but, hey, wow, we got the, the Dolphins and the Kansas City Chiefs coming up this weekend. Yep, Saturday. Yep. So let's go Dolphins. Let's see what you really got. And it's supposed to be like two below a kickoff or something stupid. I thought that was a joke. Yeah, it's supposed to be negative two. <laughs> yeah, negative two. Yeah. Are you kidding me? So. Hey, at least they don't have a dome. They're playing outdoors in the weather. So, hey, good on Kansas City for that. <laughs> I am I am happy. I'm tickled to death that at least they have an outdoor stadium. Right, but 
the weather's not in the Finns' favor, that's for sure. So Hey, football's like, played in the quagmire of the elements, man. <laughs> go out there and play in the rain. Well, go play in the well, snow. Well, they hop in a quagmire, that's uh, for sure. You know, hey, come on, that's what football was started on. I mean, think about the <laughs> days when, uh, you know, the Packers and uh, uh, the Bears and the Browns. I mean, they were all playing in outdoor stadiums in the snow and I yep. mean, slipping and sliding. I mean, that's football. <laughs> I mean, you can't go out there and play on a perfect day environment every single time that is for sure the weather changes the dynamics a little bit that fast guy out there guess what he's not so fast in the snow it brings everybody down to the same talent level the ultimate equalizer the weather yep you know we've done a couple of rides already this year it was actually in the cold i am tired of riding a motorcycle in the cold Uh, that's up i'm with you on that i don't know why they want to and we live in Florida. Yeah, it's, it's still been, cold. It's been cold. But, hey, just, you know, our listeners up north, I know y'all have winterized y'all's for about four or five months. We do still get to ride ours, but it yeah. can be miserable. And, we, you know, we just had a a storm blow through yesterday that was equivalent to a Cat 2 hurricane. Category 2 hurricane. We got super lucky. Yeah. I mean, it didn't blow very hard here at all, but surrounding people and that storm all the way on the way here really tore some shit up. No, yeah, it, uh, it, I was reading the, the Jacksonville practice uh, field got some damage. So we did have a little bit of damage here in Northeast Florida, but none that I see in our neck of the woods as far as in our neighborhood, which is a good thing. So we, we, we're in the American Legion, Legion riders, and they get to, you know, ride motorcycles and go steal shit. You know, so it actually been fun. So we got, so, you know, looks like they're trying to plan another ride to go steal some shit, stuff, plaques. Yeah. And it's not stealing anything. Well, I steal anything, but they, they actually steal the this, but, you know, they'll have a particular plaque they're supposed to take from that post, and they have their name on it and stuff, and we take it, and they got to come back and get it. It's for camaraderie. It's a, it's a good... uh it's a good cause. Yeah. You know? Old man captured a flag game. Yeah, it, exactly. But on motorcycles. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, no, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, they got a few coming up this year. So just nothing this month. Why don't we have something this month, John? Um, we have. Oh, we're oh, we're doing the. Uh, well, they just took one last weekend. They did. Yeah. Well, they took ours and they went and got ours back. Yeah. Well, I think they got another one while they were. I think they were planning yeah. on, but I don't yeah. think they did. Oh, okay. I could be oh, wrong yeah. on that, but I don't think they made it. Up. It was already gone or something. Oh, oh. So, but I know we were talking about, you know, going to the uh, the summit at the end of the month and riding the motorcycles and maybe stopping and stealing a few plaques on the way back. And when we mean stealing, we let them know we're taking them. So it's not really stealing. Unless there are plaques missing and Jimmy starts grabbing artifacts off the wall and trying to. Well, we'll just take this, I guess. And you know, hey, no. I, you, hey, we just used a tank of gas to get there. We got to take the something. Down. We got to take something. <laughs> and we still don't even have any tags to hang out and put on the walls. I mean, God. Yeah, we got to get some more of those. So what else is going on, Mr. Kind of Billy can't, here? Can't find anything. It's all just Hunter Biden shit today. You know? Yeah, Hunter Biden made a surprise <clears throat> uh, entrance at Capitol Hill at the the meeting today, so kind of got everybody all spun up. But hey, you know, at least he could walk. I mean, all the pictures I see of him, he's like passed out somewhere. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. With a crack pipe, you know. Oh, yeah. And then the other news is uh, Secretary of Defense Austin, you know, not telling anybody that, oh, I'm going to go in for some uh, medical stuff. But yeah. There's just something going on with that because, first off, it was an elective surgery. Now it's he's got prostate cancer and he has prostate removed. That's not an elective surgery. I wouldn't think so, but yeah. Well, I, I guess I mean, it could guess, be. It's like, uh, well, you know, well, anything's just, your choice. So I guess uh, when yeah, you yeah. choose to get it done, it's elective. But no, elective surgery is like uh, a nip and tuck or Botox or something, right? <laughs> I guess so. I don't know, but I, I, I get what you're saying. I mean, elective, like but you know, I guess if you choose, like, well, I, right. As soon as yeah, they yeah, said okay. that, I said. Gender reassignment surgery. <laughs> <laughs> is he is that, army. Is that what's happening here? So I don't he know. is army. You know, and everybody's saying, "Well, he didn't tell the president." But 
we don't know that. I mean, most people tell the president stuff, and he just forgets what they said and where he is. And can you go get me some chocolate chip ice cream? Yeah. Well, he's got a secretary. Yeah, he, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> secretary who? Austin. I got a secretary? Does she get ice cream? Can she go get me some ice cream? <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, oh, sir. <laughs> I can see how that conversation went. It's like, ah. Oh. Yeah. But anyways, we shouldn't be picking uh, we, on the old and feeble. Yeah, we just just and have fun here. This, this is a comedy podcast, so we make fun of everybody. Yeah, even the president. Boy, Cat Williams, the comedian, is blowing up the internet, too. So he went on um, Shannon Sharp's podcast. Mm -hmm. I guess people had gone in there and talked shit about him, and he just let it all out. Everybody with uh, all the other comedians on the Friday pod, uh, Friday movies, mm -hmm. Chris Tucker and everybody, and so he's he's got the whole world in an uproar right now. It was pretty interesting. I don't know. I I kind of believed him. <laughs> was he busting him for being on the Epstein list or what? No, not that. But you know, either not being funny or them coming on. <laughs> saying that parts were created for them and when when they weren't and it's a long podcast and you'd have to watch it to see all the I don't want to misrepresent him but if you enjoy comedy I I urge you to watch it <clears throat> cuz he really breaks out so and and now watching all those comics all the 10 people he probably calls out on this podcast all of them are making TikToks and YouTube shorts defending themselves and but the one thing none of them have called him is a liar <laughs> none of them has said he's lying <laughs> they might try to bend his words and try to give their their side of the truth but no one called cat williams a liar that's for sure no, i have to check it out i didn't uh i didn't see that he's he's one of my favorite comedians and after watching that shannon sharp <laughs> episode <laughs> i uh, i like him a little bit more now well, man, you want to, let's uh, rate this bourbon for man, 2024? Let's do it. Let's do it. Get you another swig. You know, just to reset my mind. <clears throat> my audio keeps going out. It's the audio tech. Hey. Hey, Timmy. <laughs> this audio is not, it's still doing it. How many oh. times have I told you? Uh, hey, Timmy. Look, hey, hey, you uh, either fix it Billy, or Billy, fire it. Billy. Uh, he, he's actually in video. Bruce does the audio. It's fix it or fire it, Bruce. <laughs> you got one more shot at this. We got to work on the production crew around here. That, what? A, Timmy? Well, uh, we could, we could like, you know, decrease their pay, but I mean, that means they're paying us because <laughs> we're not paying them. <laughs> can't get any lower than zero. <laughs> can't, can't get any lower than zero. It's like, right. dude, put a little tip jar to, at the door when he come mm -hmm. in. <laughs> hmm. I've got a number. Billy has a number. And is it Jenny's? Went right over his head. No. I knew exactly what you were referring to. <laughs> All right, man. Is it eight six Who wants seven, to go? five three oh nine? Eight six seven <laughs> five three oh nine. Well, what you got there, little buddy? What do you think about Remus, George Remus here? You know, wasn't terrible. No? Um, yeah, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a 5.5. Ooh, we're different. We're oh, different. Oh, shit. I actually gave it a really good number. Well, yeah, but yeah, yeah you did. So, yeah. I, I wouldn't have. No, I don't think I could have gone that high. But, yeah, that's all right. Though. You got to do the math here. Ah, it's an average of 6.25. Nailed it. You don't think so? <laughs> He's pretty confident there. Isn't I'm pretty, he? Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty confident. <laughs> Is that right? Huh? Ah, yeah, 6.25. Nailed it. Boy's getting good. Batting a thousand, starting year twenty twenty four. So far, they've all been right. Haven't missed one yet. <laughs> all, all one of them. All one of them. All one of them. 
Well, Jimmy, I don't know if you had fun, but I sure did. Yeah, you know. Get off your damn phone. <laughs> I really want you to try to do that math again. Take seven. Yeah. Add 5.5 to that. Mm-hmm. Comes out to 12.5. Divide that by two, 6.25. Nailed it. Okay, I did, I did it a different number. All right. Oh. Huh. Who's good at math now? Yeah. No, I mean, it, <laughs> I, I did six. I forgot I gave it a 5.5. I gave it a 6.5 on my calculator. Like, ah, hmm. So the bourbon's getting better for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, anyways. Uh, cheers, buddy. Cheers, man. Here's to a new year. We're going to get picked up by a couple of sponsors, and we're going to make an announcement here shortly. Yeah. So. Yeah, here soon. With that, you guys have a. Great new year. Uh, Tune in and, um, hey, look forward to seeing you guys. We'll be seeing you guys soon out here.